Hey, this is Mikey with a quick After Effects uh, tip. We're talking about mosaic and how to make sure that uh, these blocks are always square. Mikey's production tips is brought to you by Cinema Spice. After Effects tools, video overlays and backgrounds, and sound effects. The way mosaic works is different than you think. Um, horizontal blocks, vertical blocks, it's all based off of the aspect ratio of the layer you stick it on. So if you stick this on a square layer, um, then these blocks, 10 by 10, will be square. But since this is not a square layer, you can see that it's just how many blocks left versus how many blocks uh, up and down. So if I make that layer square, those blocks look square. But you know, most footage isn't square, so how do we make sure that these blocks stay square even though your footage isn't square? And so there's a um, kind of some expressions you can do in order to create that. Okay, so this um, expression is going to go on the mosaic effect. Make sure you have that first. It's in the stylize um, under effects. Stylize mosaic. Um, if you don't already have that applied to your layer, but I'm going to stick this on the vertical blocks You can do it either on horizontal or vertical, but the way that I have um, My expression set up it works on the vertical blocks So let's option or alt click on the stopwatch and we're going to type this in here Now first we need to do is we need to create some variables for height and width So I'm going to start with height So I'm just going to call it H equals and then what we're going to do is this layer dot height, or what you can do, let's um, show you how to pick whip that if you don't want to have to type that out, is you just pick whip the layer and it says this layer. <laughs> and then you go dot height. And then we need to add in a scale to this. Now because I can scale and move the layer around and people may not want the layer to be um, always the same aspect ratio. I want to put in a scalar to this to make sure that it always is square no matter how I scale the layer. So we're going to times and then in parentheses, so uh, front and back parentheses, we're going to put in the scale, which is the scale of the height um, of this layer. So again, we will pick this layer and then we go dot scale. Um, now scale has a horizontal and a vertical aspect to it. So in square brackets, we will put one because that is the second um, set of it, which is the horizontal. And then we're going to take this whole thing still in the, in the um, parentheses and we're going to divide that by 100. And so what that does is it gives us a scalar amount. So if it's less than 100, say it scale down to 95%, well then that will turn it into 0.95 uh, times this layer will then bring this scale to the same. Okay, hopefully that all makes sense. Now for the second, I'm gonna just copy this and we'll just alter it. And instead of H, we'll put W instead of height, width. And right here where it says one, we're gonna put a zero there. Now time for the expression that makes this all work. If we pick whip horizontal blocks, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna time this, times this by in parentheses, H divided by W and with a semicolon. And then what that does, as you can see, is it'll keep this always in perspective to make it square. So no matter how many blocks I make, it will keep those blocks square. It doesn't matter how I format this, scale it around, those blocks are always going to be square. So if this is something that has bugged you in the past about how uh, Mosaic works, well, this is the expression for you. There's a copy of it down in the description and just paste it into your vertical blocks. So hopefully you learned some great stuff about expressions here. This was just a quick tip. Um, let me know your thoughts. And um, yeah, until next time, see ya.